Welcome to Kingdom Reality, your gateway to deep insights into the truths and realities of God's kingdom. Dive deep into the teachings of esteemed teachers of God's Word as they illuminate the mysteries of Scripture, offering priceless wisdom and revelations. Our channel serves as a beacon of enlightenment, guiding seekers on a transformative journey towards understanding the essence of divine truth and purpose. Join us as we explore the depths of spiritual reality and embark on a quest for genuine understanding and spiritual growth, revealing kingdom realities. In Apostle Joshua Selman's powerful message, Scriptural Prayer Modals, he reveals the true power of prayer. He teaches us how to align our prayers with God's Word for incredible results. Feel the strength of praying together and see how it can truly move mountains. Learn to develop a structured prayer life that brings clarity and breakthroughs. Unlock the secrets of effective prayer and start seeing divine results in your life. Join Apostle Joshua Selman and discover the art of scriptural prayer for a victorious life. we have come this morning asking that you will speak to us by your word Amen. that you will speak to us by your spirit Amen. let someone's destiny find expression as a result of today's teaching Amen. let someone receive restoration Amen. let someone's walk with you be jacked back to life Amen. let someone find hope and healing we vow to give you all the praise Amen. holy spirit we declare that you have unrestrained access access to our hearts access to our minds Amen. do with us and do to us as you please and let the lord be glorified Amen. for in jesus mighty name we pray Amen. is it all right if i request that you walk up to two or three or four or five if you have the strength add six or seven people and just gently tell them good morning and god bless you i'll do the counting while you walk so this is one Some of you are still on two. <laughs> Hallelujah. God bless you. Please, you may return to your seat rejoicing and be seated. The psalmist said, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go to the house of the Lord. There are things that only happen in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to sincerely thank the foundations of Zosiah for this opportunity. It gives me great joy every time I have the honor of bringing God's word to his people because I have learned from scripture and I've learned by experience that God's method has always been and will always be his word. He appears unto men principally by his word. He sets men free principally by his word and ye shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Even when it comes to healing and deliverance is through his word. He sent forth his word and his word healed them and delivered them from all their 
infirmities or destructions and so i place a lot of value on the word of god and it's always my intent as i teach the word that beyond the thoughts that i share that people will cultivate a hunger and a passion first for god and then for his word a man who rejects the word of god has rejected everything god can offer let me say that again a man who as an act of his or her will chooses to reject the word of god has also rejected everything that god can offer i pray that god will bless our hearts in jesus name and then i think it's it's also wise to just remind us to do well to get some of these teachings you know sometimes in conferences like this no matter how attentive you are there are some things you just will not hear or at least will not get hallelujah and so faith comes by hearing and hearing the first hearing is unto awareness the second hearing is unto understanding it is not just what you are aware of that changes you it is what you understand hallelujah the utopian enoch opened the scripture and was reading and when philip came he said understandest what thou readest so just because you are interacting with truth does not mean you have received it he said how can i accept some man explain it to me hallelujah so yesterday we took our time to just examine from scripture the greatness of this great god we called him king of kings according to scripture and lord of lords and we thank god for how god took us through the service this morning i thought to teach um on the subject of prayer since this is a prayer conference i thought to wrap up my session by sharing a few very important thoughts as it relates to prayer the foundation for an excelling life generally speaking is your relationship with god according to scripture any man is already on the path to victory and excellence when you take god seriously the foundation for an excelling life at any level is your relationship with god that means when you pursue any other thing higher and greater than your relationship with god you stand the risk of losing out of the potential to become an exceptional person hallelujah the bible says in second chronicles 26 and verse 5 talking about uzziah second chronicles 26 and verse 5 it says for as long as he sought the lord the lord made him uzziah to prosper for as long as he sought the lord second chronicles 26 and verse 5 the lord made him it is god that makes men to prosper paul can plant apollo can water but increase is exclusively of the lord are we together spirituality i wrote here is the foundation for true dominion and exploits in the kingdom spirituality is the foundation for true dominion and exploits in the kingdom that means for every believer who seeks to walk in the experience of dominion recall yesterday we said we learn and know about us when we learn and know about him so one of the reasons why we study god is to be able to understand ourselves we were created in his image and his likeness and the only way to really know who we are is to know who he is so we don't just study god because we love him we don't just study god because we want to appreciate the vastness of his greatness but we study him in order to discover ourselves the bible says as he is so are we not in the the, the life after here and now so if it is true that he's king of kings and if it's true that he's lord of all it gets to show that there must be that dominion component within us and when we understand his greatness his ability to exact power and influence over creation 
we must be able to follow same in fact the bible says let them have dominion and then he begins to list all of the spheres the birds of the air the fowl the cattle and everything that creeps upon the earth defines for us the jurisdiction of our, our dominion hallelujah and one of the major enhancers to spirituality is understanding prayer if it is true that spirituality is the bedrock and the foundation for an excelling life not just spiritually speaking it starts with your spiritual life but it spills over to every aspect of your life the the control room of any man's greatness in the kingdom is the health and the strength of your spiritual life and there are many enhancers to spirituality i'll just pick on one of them and that becomes my discussion for the time that we have the health of your prayer life your understanding the prayer ministry becomes a principal enhancer to your spirituality there is no man there is no woman who will become spiritual to god's standard without understanding prayer many people pray but very few people understand prayer hallelujah yeah. it is important to be efficient in prayer and since this is a prayer conference i just thought to share a few things that can help us maximize our prayer adventure do you know why prayer meetings in many circles um usually don't come with a lot of motivation two reasons one because many people do not get results from their prayer many people do not get results from their prayer generally speaking nobody leaves what works do you agree with me on that the moment you try or test a thing and it works you are motivated to stay there so the number one reason for the laxity in prayer extends to prayer meetings of all sorts is because the truth is most people cannot they do not have consistency of results through prayer and so because of that they hardly have an appreciation for the prayer ministry instinctively they know that is one of the requirements for a believer's growth and excelling but since they have not gotten results there they pay very less attention to it the second reason is most people have not been taught that you are actually taught to pray prayer is not just something you do prayer like driving or any other spiritual adventure you are taught to pray there are people who learned how to drive without anyone driving them or teaching them and they may not know the mistakes they are making just because the car is moving in obedience until they face a situation that requires structured knowledge that's when they will find out that even though they've driven successfully for years there were things they did not know about driving for instance when they relocate abroad they will fail the driving test helplessly to their shame they say look i've driven from abuja to lagos many times how dare you fail me cheaply like this that is when they will realize that it's not just about moving a vehicle there is understanding most people pray some of them were born from prayerful families by prayerful families pass through prayerful circles but the truth is that not many believers have been taught to pray the disciples of jesus as the disciples of john they saw john attempt to mentor them in the area of prayer and they tried everything john said and they themselves began to pray they were frustrated at a point because their prayer was not producing power then they came to jesus according to luke's synoptic account and they said teach us to pray as john taught his disciples to pray so their issue was not prayerlessness it was inefficiency in prayer they were not getting results they were honestly praying saying whatever it is and it was not producing power but they noticed jesus he did not waste words every word had a return on that investment if he spoke to storms he returned with results if he spoke to situations he spoke to men he spoke to circumstances it was such an admirable sight to behold and they had to confront him one day say don't leave us this way teach us to pray bring efficiency to our prayer adventure are we together 
many believers will pray if they have answers through prayer many believers will not have to be coerced into prayer ministry prayer meetings you know cajoled and so on and so forth it is because most people are frustrated some indefinitely until they've backslidden as far as prayer is concerned and then we pray all kinds of funny prayers and don't get answers one thing we need to know as a rule of thumb is that god is touched with the feelings of your infirmity but he only responds as his word allows there are rules of engagement even in the way god responds to man god does not respond to man emotionally he has submitted himself to his word himself the bible says he exalts his word even above his name above his office above his reputation so you would think that just because you are crying and you know lamenting god will be obliged to move he is touched with the feelings of your infirmity that is called compassion but he's moved by his word if god were moved emotionally the first people he will rescue are children not even you and yet you can watch children die and watch all kinds of catastrophic things happen in our world and here is a god who the bible calls an epitome of love with the all-seeing eye seated on his throne how could he watch such mayhem happen across the earth and not do anything about it it is the reason why trying to buy up sympathy spiritually will only end us in frustration there are rules that produce victory god is touched with the feelings of your infirmity but please listen to me as we delve into this subject of prayer he's only moved by his word not even the tears of jesus could stop that which had was written that from the foundations of the earth the lamb was slain and that without the shedding of blood there is no remission of sin you will think the tears of his only begotten son not even the blood that was flowing from the lacerations could turn the heart of god as compassionate as he is he still watched his son die <laughs> are we together so the wise saying one day go better unfortunately does not work it consoles but it does not work it comforts but it does not work time will not change anything by default you will have to know how to engage the word even in prayer can we look at a few things about prayer thank you jesus just one scripture ephesians chapter 6 please we will read 17 and 18. contextually paul is wrapping up his discourse with the church in ephesus and he starts from verse 10 by saying finally brethren he says be strong in the lord he's giving them his final words now and he says be strong in the lord and in the power of his might are we together now yes now the book of ephesians is very interesting theologically because it contains according to many theological thoughts it contains about the richest truth as far as the believers work is concerned paul took out time to give a sound exegesis as far as the believers work is concerned he spoke about his the believers position of advantage seated with christ he spoke about the work of the believer the character that befits a believer's experience he talks about the demonic forces that try to antagonize and resist believers and he teaches us how to fight against the wiles of the enemy and he's wrapping up his discourse from verse 10 he now says be strong in the lord and in the power of his might then he tells us to put on the whole armor not some the whole armor to the end that we may be able to stand against the wiles or the strategies of the devil are we still together then he begins to describe that armory he says for your information know this as you sojourn that we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities powers rulers of the darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness that are domiciled within the heavenly places to that end he begins to describe the believers armory take on the whole armor of god that you may be able to withstand
stand the evil day and then he says haven't done all to stand he begins his listing now he says stand therefore having your loins girt about with truth so truth is an armor righteousness is another armor next verse please he talks about the preparation of the gospel of peace as an armor he talks about the shield of faith then he says with this shield of faith you sustain the ability to quench all not some all the fiery darts of the wicked and then he says to take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit which is the word of god and then he says verse 18 this is where we are finally arriving at now let's let's read together ready one to read praying hold on praying always with all prayer can we have niv if it's possible niv i'd appreciate niv niv says praying always with all kinds of prayer remember i i took out time to journey with you from verse 10 so that you understand the flow of the discourse don't forget his thoughts he's teaching you how to stand he's teaching you how to prevail he gives you an information that you are in a world where you are not alone are we together that there satan is there with his whole arsenal and now he's teaching you how to put on the whole armor of god so this scripture right there is a continuation the whole armor of god and then he says pray in the spirit on all occasions then he says with all kinds of prayer that means there are different kinds and different models of prayer are we together now did i give you my topic for this morning i'm teaching on scriptural prayer models scriptural prayer models scriptural prayer models from this scripture so the bible says to pray in the spirit on all occasions but then he says part of the strategy for you remaining victorious as a believer is to know and deploy all kinds of prayers please say after me all kinds of prayers hallelujah all kinds of prayers the bible says in mark chapter mark chapter 24 i believe now jesus was speaking to the the fig tree what scripture is that remind me he says verily verily i say unto you that whatsoever things ye desire when ye pray believe that thou receivest them and you shall find them that should be mark 11 and verse 24 the discussion starts from verse 21 then ends at 24 please give us 24 so he says whatsoever things ye desire did i get that right 24 thank you when ye pray there is a connection between desires prayer believing and their manifestation are we together in luke chapter 18 and verse 1 the bible says he spake a parable to the end that men ought always to pray always consistency to pray and not to faint first thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 17 he says pray without ceasing doesn't mean to pray from morning till night it means be consistent that the prayer adventure becomes profitable when it is consistently practiced are we together james chapter 5 and verse 13 he says is any man afflicted let him pray let him pray let him pray a few verses afterwards he says the fervent and effectual prayer of the righteous availeth much even for jesus as our model jesus as our pattern man in luke chapter 9 from verse 28 to 29 at the mount of transfiguration the bible says verse 29 luke 9 29 as he prayed as he prayed as he prayed jesus prayed as he prayed john 17 and verse 1 jesus lifted up his eyes to the heavens and prayed john 17 verse 1 he prayed father the hour is come glorify now your son hallelujah that your son may glorify thee 
we see scattered through scripture that jesus prayed he invested time praying any believer who must reign and triumph exerting dominion over this cosmos must pray but prayer comes with understanding and so i want to examine with us very quickly at least four models of prayer the bible mandates that we pray with all kinds of prayer all have you been touched by the message you just heard and you want to give your life to jesus or you want to rededicate your life to jesus christ as your lord and savior then say this short prayer lord i admit i am a sinner i need and want your forgiveness i accept your death as the penalty for my sin and recognize that your mercy and grace is a gift you offer to me because of your great love not based on anything i have done cleanse me and make me your child be faithy receive you into my heart as the son of god and as savior and lord of my life from now on help me live for you with you in control dot in your precious name amen congratulations to you if you have just said that prayer you are now a child of god look around you for a bible believing church and also ask jesus to direct you to the church where you can continue to serve him consider subscribing to this channel too so that you'll keep learning the realities of god's kingdom god bless you